I cannot stop the sand. How's he supposed to walk out of there with no hands? It's a ropes course out there. Puts him in his mouth. <laughs> I'll cut that out because it it would it will not look good on camera. What I just did. What'd you do? <laughs> not doing it again. Hey, welcome on back to You Me in the Movies. Tonight we get a special request. Special request. Granny and Granddaddy. Yeah. Christy and Patrick. It's Patrick's birthday, so he picked this month. And he picked the 80s classic fantasy film, Kroll. Kroll, the Warrior King? I don't think that's any reference to this movie. But Kroll is one of my favorites, and uh, I'm excited to watch it again. Well, for those of you that recognize my reference, it's from How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, Kroll, the Warrior King. <laughs> of course it is. Um, but I've never seen this movie before. Never mm-hmm. even heard of it. And even though it's Patrick's birthday, he asked us not to sing for him this year. All right. I, that's fair. It was pretty horrible last year. So. No, he didn't say it was because of our our singing skills. Uh, it just which doesn't I doesn't like the attention. Good. It's okay. I understand but, that, yeah. too. I don't we'll like We'll just wish him happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, and thanks for being our patrons, as always, and supporting the channel so much. Yeah. Well, should we jump in and check out Kroll? Absolutely. Yeah. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come join us for Kroll, and if you feel like being like Christy and Patrick, you can join yeah. our Patreon. Check out our Patreon link down below. You might be able to snag one of those special request lots, or you can get early access, full income, commentary, access to pulls up, people we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. That's right. Twitter and Instagram, social media if you're interested. Yeah, you can probably find Patrick on there and wish him happy birthday or something. He'll probably like that attention. Oh, he might not like that attention, though. Okay, then ignore that. Instead, let's watch Kroll. Here we go. Is this going to be, like, good or, like, bad? Like, am I going to laugh because it's so awful? Or am I going to be scared? Has Christy and Patrick ever steered you wrong? No. Well, maybe. <laughs> not usually. What was that? The knife, star, knife, boomerang thingamajig. Hmm. Liam Neeson. So it's funny? Oh, no. <laughs> you think guy. Liam Neeson's a comedian? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Isn't Liam Neeson the... He's Qui-Gon Jinn in Star Wars Episode 1. I don't know what that the means. The Taken guy. Taken, taken, yeah. yeah. That's um, not a comedy. This is a really long time ago, though, so he's young. Really young in this. Yeah. I was thinking Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> Completely I, different name. I don't know Completely. why I got them confused for a minute. <laughs> I mean, this movie is acting like it wants to be epic. Maybe it is epic. I've never heard of it before, so I just don't think it is. Usually I've heard of a movie. I've just not seen it. Never even heard of this one. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a bad movie written by Stanford Sherman, so. I've never seen any movie written by Stanford Sherman. And this is the only one I've seen, so. Many worlds have been enslaved by the beast and his army, the Slayers. The beast would come to our world, the world of Krull. That a girl of ancient name shall become queen. That she shall choose a king. And that their son shall rule the galaxy. Space fantasy. Father, the invaders are destroying our world. Only if we're united do we stand a chance against them. Corwin is a great fighter. Good fighters make bad husbands. Is that true? I wouldn't know. Who have you fought recently? I'm a pretty good fighter. All right, I'll take your word for it. I mean, you're a wicked fighter with the Ninja Turtle game, so. So it might be Kroll the Warrior King. Kroll the Warrior King. Kroll's the planet. Oh. Well, it could be a Warrior King coming, though. Yeah. Open the gate! Chosen well. So have I. 
So have I. Me too. When have they met that they like that they love each other? Stop. Huh. You're embarrassing me. From this day, my kingdom is no more. Nor mine. A single kingdom under our children. Agreed. That's that's bold. For them to be like, nah. Give it all to our kids. I like their helmets. They're very unique, aren't they? I give fire to water. It will not return except from the hand of the woman I choose as my wife. I give it only to the man whom I choose as my husband. It's just like our vows. <laughs> Ooh. Got laser guns in this place. alien creature just got sucked into the floor it's a lot of swords got stabbed right in the jugular oh no he was my favorite He can't be dead. <sighs> they didn't even consummate the marriage yet. You probably don't realize it, but the horses are the real masterminds of the that army. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why is that? They're the ones that take them to wherever they need to go. Good one. I don't know. He did die? Oh, no. Healer's gonna fix him. Ew. Just Neosporin. <laughs> Killer acting. You haven't lost a father and a bride on the same day. You will face the beast who is their leader. You will need the power of the glaive. It's the glaive. Hmm. Ah. The glaive is nothing but an ancient symbol. It doesn't really exist. It exists. Is that that star... Star throwing thing? Yeah, the thing with the knives. Must be. If you do not come back with it, you'll not come back at all. No pressure. I don't know how you decide the way up there. They had little markers for him to follow. That would suck. I should give me some pants like that. I I was just thinking that. Yeah. That think shit. I can rock them? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Little apple bottom in those. Oh yeah. I knew you'd like that. <laughs> they just set up a bunch of cameras and told this actor, just go climb that rock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Must go to the butt crack of that rock. Looks more like an armpit. I was thinking a different bodily <laughs> part, but I thought butt crack was less aggressive. Okay. <laughs> You just gotta hope that your skin is lava proof. And that's not just a starfish in lava. He's lava proof.
you are the chosen one, sir. Cool. I'm pretty sure the glaive is mentioned in Ready Player One. Is it? At least the book. I'm not sure about the movie. It's one of the iconic weapons of pop culture. Never heard of it or seen it. Oh yeah, super sexy. He's just showing her his glands. With each sunrise, the black fortress moves. Sometimes it is in the mountains, sometimes in the desert, sometimes in the sea. If you stand still long enough, it'll come to you. It is a day's journey from here. Come. Of course, I was like, uh, I was eating there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're going now. Okay. Oh, there was a difference of opinion concerning a gooseberry pie. <laughs> oh well, it'll have to be a goose. Fat and ugly. <laughs> Oops. And that is see what I could have done to you if I were a vengeful man. <laughs> He's not a very good magician. What did you call him? Magician. Oh. And I do not travel with peasants and beggars. Goodbye. He's the king. Right? About kings and wise men. Oh. I've urgent business in this direction. What business? Staying alive. What did he see? A one eyed guy. Where'd he go now? Right here. It's a fun trick. You cannot escape me. You will be my queen. You should at least give her a nice interior designer, right? Let her make yeah, it. Let her own. dress the place up a little yeah. bit. Robbers. Man. Don't worry, I'll turn them all into pigs. Oh, turn himself into a pig, of course. I don't kill men without good reason. Nor do I. And be thankful for it. <laughs> oh, there's Liam Neeson. These men follow no man but me. And I follow no man at all. Would you follow a king? A king? A king. <laughs> Definitely not. To the Black Fortress. Uh, now I know you're a lunatic. <laughs> Noble sentiments, but we fight for profit. You know what I mean? For the profit's freedom. Offer them land. You are king of a kingdom. You can give them land. How did you know I had sons? If the Slayers conquer Kroll, your sons will be enslaved. Crawl. The planet. Oh. <laughs> well, you heard him. We are now an army. <laughs> an unpaid army. We got problem, run. Well, can't a man even talk to himself without being interrupted? <laughs> Move! Who's this guy? The Cyclops guy. He's a great warrior. I don't think he'll be much of a fighter, but he might be good for some distraction, huh? Him? The magician. Yeah. They gave up one of their eyes in exchange for the power to see into the future. But they were cheated. And the only future they are permitted to see is the time of their own death. Would you give up an eye to see the day you die? No. Huh? Yoo-hoo! I will seek the fortress for you. What kind of payment is he going to want? I don't know. This guy wants to steal his emerald, so... It's actually just rock candy. 
I have a cinnamon bar. Share and share alike. Ew. I'm Titch. That's not impressive, but adequate. Adequate. <laughs> Black Fortress. Where is it? Uh oh. The king's pissed about it. But there's one place where his power cannot reach. The Emerald Temple. It is in the Great Swamp. A treacherous place. Our need is great. Yeah, the guy's just taking over the world. What? They were emeralds. Oh, I run emeralds. <laughs> Swear it, they were emeralds. <laughs> 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 He's like, gotcha. Oh, yeah, they're not letting anybody get close to that temple, huh? They're going into the soil. No. Mm. Which means they're probably just like hiving and creating more of themselves. Take us to your leader. I am Ergen. The Magnificent. <laughs> but small people need large names to give them weight. <laughs> You've been with us for a long way now. Since the beginning. I wonder how long they had to search to find a Cyclops for this movie. I was wondering, practical effects wise, do you think he can't use his eyes? What, Both of his eyes are, yeah. are covered, so he's just literally flying blind there. He did miss that handshake a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'd wish for a puppy. Only one puppy? If you're wishing, why not wish for a hundred? And you will? What would you wish for? Ignorance. What? Ignorance. Probably he means ignorance of his own death. Something. Ignorance is bliss. It won't be long until Stockholm Syndrome's kicking in and she's falling in love with this guy. Yeah. Oh, oh are we certain of that? Uh-oh. The ground. It's sinking. It is the power of the beast. Link up! Make help. a change! Give me help! Pull! Pull! Come on, come on, come on. I mean, how much oatmeal did they have to make to get... Oh! oh. No, no! Oh, boy. That is unfortunate. Death by dirty oatmeal. Is that you, Titch? It's not the right one. I'll leave this here. Titch, you go ahead. It's not the right guy. What happened to the real seer? Ate him. Absorbed him. I don't know. Put him in one of those mud bogs. Bummer. Is he dead? Hey. What's up? Are you supposed to be in bed? Yeah. Did Nana put you to bed? Yeah. yeah. Do you want us to come say goodnight to you? Yeah. Okay. Well, head on back. We'll be right in. It's gonna be 
rough to Is share that news. Oh yeah, he's dead. It's the wrong guy! It's the wrong guy! Hope he doesn't poke his eye out with those <laughs> branches. <laughs> Gross. He gave his life for us. He was my only family. Poor Titch. Now we have no way to find the Black Fortress. There is one who might help. The widow of the web. <laughs> that creature helped no one. She may not kill me. For I know her name. He was married to her. What do you think her name is? Barbara. Barbara? Mm hmm. Oh. It's gonna make the little boy feel better with being a puppy. Where's Ergo? He's. He'll be back soon. <laughs> for now, he's gonna be a puppy for me. <laughs> Still say it was a foolish wish. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't have fleas now. Hey, Kagan. Hello. Doesn't one of your wives live in a village near here? One of your wives. <laughs> How many wives does he have? It's about seven or eight at the last count. One in every village, yeah. Can't she cook? Well, it's not her strongest point. But here, I tell you. One wife is enough for me. Oh yeah, you wouldn't be able to handle more than one. <laughs> Not if they were all like me. No. I am a handful. Big handful. <laughs> you. She's not even pretty. Yeah. No, no look, Petal. Faithful is my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> He's faithful to all his wives. Yeah. Mm, chicken. I love chicken. You have chosen a paltry kingdom on an insignificant planet. And love. Love is fleeting. Power is eternal. <laughs> I think it's the exact opposite, actually. Yeah. Power is fleeting. Love is eternal. Well, true love is eternal. Yeah. Do not let my form frighten you. Lisa. I could assume any form I wish. Ew. This is a lie. I know how painful it is to be far from He will betray you. He will not. Then he will die. I cannot. My master said make him betray him, if not kill him. These talents were a heartbeat away from your throat. I could have killed you in an instant, but in the hour I knew you, I loved you. It is you who are betrayed. Power is fleeting. Life for you Love is eternal. Thank you. See? If you consent to be my queen, I will halt the attacks of the slayers. It's pretty ugly. Pretty ugly. What was that? She's a big old spider, eh? This is like the Ewok movie. Does it look like the Ewok spider web? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enter here and die. It's me, Maury. Remember we had that one weekend together? Not even gonna try to like talk to her about it? You're just gonna try to risk it all? Spider looks a little bit more real than the Ewok movie. 
yeah. Oh, good. Lisa! Lisa! It is I, give you. I give you this time. You got a minute. Oh, I don't like it. Uh, go fast, sir. Why is he taking so long? What is taking the so long? The sticky web. Don't stop to to look. Just keep going. Ugh. Oof. Dude, you're not moving fast enough. He's safe in there? I don't think so. We had a son. Ooh. Where is he? I killed him when he was born. And this is my punishment. Since I could not kill you, my rage needed a victim. That's fucked up. <laughs> what can I see for you? The Black Fortress, where does it rise? In the Iron Desert. But the knowledge is useless to you, for you cannot leave here. No man has ever escaped the web. Call off your fucking spider. I cannot stop the sand. You cannot stop time. How's he supposed to walk out of there with no hands? It's a ropes course out there. Puts him in his mouth. <laughs> Cut that out because it it would it will not look good on camera what I just did. What'd you do? <laughs> not doing it again. <sighs> but he's gonna die as soon as that sand runs out. I think she meant that if he dropped all the sand he would die before uh -huh. he got out not that but he'll die now that he drops yeah. the sand like the spider would get to him if he let it go of it all or maybe not he's looking pretty old oh it was just a, a stunt light. double in the iron desert it will remain there until Sunrise of the following day. Oh, no, he's gonna die. Use your power wisely. He should have took my tip, and then he would have lived until he passed it. If he ate some of the sand. Oof. Eh? I don't know. Loophole. <laughs> Loophole. <laughs> What a lovely location. Those are some beautiful horses. Looks like with just shit glued to their feet. <laughs> sure they're not just Clydesdales? I don't think so. They're pretty big. They're, so, they're all black feet? Clydesdales don't usually have black feet. They usually have like tan feet. Perhaps I'm wrong. Not Clydesdale expert. Ooh, ouch. Time to die. Full of 
he's going to die anyway. Why doesn't he come with us? He must stay here and accept his fate. If he opposes it, he'll bring great pain on himself. Is his death not going to be painful then? I have to stay here, my friend. We had no time. Each to his fate. So say we all. How's he going to die, you think? I think maybe he'll just take a nap. Just take it, fall asleep and fall, die. Like horses with nitrous oxide boosters. <laughs> it's like Santa Claus. They go so fast they defy gravity. They can also fly. And quickly, it's almost dawn. We must get inside before the twin suns rise. Ha! Where's the door? I don't know. I think you just run straight at it as fast as you can. I guess if they're, a t they're on it when it moves, it'll be fine, right? Yeah, you just gotta hold on tight. Find a crevice, wedge yourself in it. Lots of emergency exits on this thing. He didn't die! He decided a painful death would be worth it, huh? Good, get back! Oh no! I was wrong. The journey was worthwhile. Finish it. I thought with his gut he was going to be able to take that shot. Send in the tank. Closing time. Oh, he's gonna be crushed to death. Thank you, good friend. Bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. It's lucky his role distracted them. They're like, what was he doing? <laughs> and <Whoa>. shoot. <laughs> Take your bells off, guys. <laughs> Don't stop. Hurry up into the nostril. My traveling days are over, my friend. No, no, we'll get you out of here. No, 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 here's where I stay. I'm right, gonna take care of his seven wives. They're screwed. Tell Marth I loved her. Lead on. Tell Ginny and Sue, Sally, Patricia. The other ones I can't remember. Let go! Just let go! There's clearly a path down there. I don't know what to do with the tiger. From here I must go on alone. Right. <laughs> Should have sharpened the blades before he <laughs> went on his journey. We must find the others, Argo. 
Didn't they film those scenes with the tiger and the boy in the same room? Probably. Oh, damn. Great. Think skinny, think skinny. Bummer. Not here, Colwyn. He's too powerful. She's been using this thing the whole no time. No shit, right? <laughs> Man, these battles would have been a lot easier. Uh oh, he's pissed now. If we can bleed, we can kill it. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. There's one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> we'll get it back. You might need to hit it again. He didn't go down that easy, did he? Come on, Thor, call your hammer back. Oh no. It used all its juice. <laughs> Gotta make sure he's dead. There's no way it was that easy. The glaive is gone. I have no way to fight it. Dance off. Fire breathing dragon sound. Consummated the marriage. Picked the wrong planet, bub. That's the power of love. That's Urko. He may still be alive. How do you know? Only Ergo would bleed that much. <laughs> Bells are coming in handy now. Oh, no, it's just his arm. He'll be all right. Better pray for an exit. Why are you stopping? Look at that highly flammable rock. Where's it going? They made good time getting out of there. Interesting. It's like me after Taco Bell. You shit up. <laughs> well, sometimes. That's a horrible joke. <laughs> you are his queen. Yes. Then we won. Yes. It's time you unlock those manacles, huh? I thought I'd keep them as a memento of our journey. <laughs> the key's yours. Only the king and his lord marshal carry this key. 
Lord Marshall. A girl of ancient name shall become queen. She shall choose a king, and their son shall rule the galaxy. Just waiting for Kroll too with their son ruling the galaxy. It's gonna happen one yeah. of these days. What a beautiful story. Yeah. It's really a story about the power of love. It is. How love always prevails. The beast wanted to show her his power. In the end, it was the power of her love that killed him. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, that was Kroll. Interesting. The 80s cult classic. Obviously, they wanted to try to make another Star Wars. He has something very similar. Very Star Wars. Esque, right? I mean, the, even the planet Kroll had two sons, like Tatooine. Right. And an awesome weapon with the glaive. Cool. Yeah. So what do you think? It wasn't bad. It was a fun, action-y flick. Yeah. With, uh, you know, really, was it 70s? Was it 70s? It was 1983, I think. Okay, so it was just like really 80s effects. Yeah. But most of them practical, which were yeah good. 80s fantasy fun. 80s fantasy fun. Yeah. Who was your favorite character? Cyclops. You like the Cyclops? Yeah. I always liked Keegan. Liam Keegan was fun, yeah. He's like the only f- actor from this movie, I think. Went on to be anything. Yeah. I think uh, well, the um, the Grand Marshal, or the guy that was the head of the, the he was something. Robbers, yeah, he looked familiar. familiar. Right. And so did the Jester. He looked familiar, too. Yeah. I think we've seen them in some other movies as goons or bad guys or... Yeah. Comic relief, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you, Christine Patrick, for this classic yeah. movie that I'd never heard of before. I watched a bunch when I was little. Did you? I always had a, like, the glaive was my weapon that I would want to have if I were to have any fantasy weapon. Really? Yeah. Even pre- now? I used to pretend I had one. Just throwing frisbees around. It's the glaive. Woo! He was into it. Yeah. I was into Kroll. All right. And then I watched it again, like, 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. Right. I still like it. Still holds up. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah. Uh, there is actually a fun... Have we ever watched Gentleman Broncos? Mm-mm. Is that a Coen Brothers movie? No, it's from the guy that made Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, okay. I think we watched it. Maybe not. Doesn't ring a bell. It. Well, there's an Easter egg in that movie for, for this movie. It's pretty funny. Huh. So, yeah. We'll have to watch that sometime. Sweet. That one makes me bust a gut. Oh funny. boy. Well, you got anything else to say about Crow? No, just thanks for picking it, Christine yeah. Patrick. This was fun. And uh, yeah, you guys are good at picking fun movies, that's for sure. Yeah. Our last live stream, somebody said, asked the question, if you could remake a movie, what would you remake? And I forgot that Crow would be a, a movie I'd remake in today's special effects. Sweet. Right? Can you see like Chris Pratt playing Colwyn and leading a band of misfits to get his wife back? Yeah. yeah. I sure could. That'd be a cool. Cruel remake right there for you. There you go. So, yeah. You heard it. Chris Pratt. Remake Cruel. <laughs> Box office hit. Exactly. <laughs> Even bring Liam Neeson back. It's oh, nice for to be sure. old or something at this point, right? Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, anything else? What do people comment on? Favorite character. Yeah, who's your favorite character in Cruel? Mm hmm. And what's the better weapon? The glaive or a lightsaber? What would you rather have? Honestly, I think the glaive, just because it does the work for you. Yeah. You just got to it out It's kind of like a there. psychic. If you throw it and you tell it what to do with your mind, then yeah, you it just does it. bring it back, right? You don't have to. It's not like really close co- quarters combat. Yeah. Yeah. You should have been using it the whole movie, but yeah. that probably was out of the budget. So probably. It would have just ruined the budget. So. Yeah. Well, anything else? Well, thanks for hanging out. Like, comment, subscribe if you didn't already, and come back next week for some other weird Something. Some, th- some other word, something. Mm-hmm. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want to make a special request like Patrick and Christy. You might be able to snag a spot. Or if you want early access, fully commentary access polls, helps people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.